Hi guys, Bob Box Adventures. A uh, bit of a catch up video really about the crafter. It's recently had an MOT, build on anti robot bushes on the back, steering arm, and a track rail. So, pretty happy with that as a good result for us. Uh, the vehicle or the crafter has also had a set of off road tyres fitted to it now, um, and today I've been to have the tracking done. I didn't video with that, but it's simple enough. I've done lock gauges and had the tracking done to make sure that they're going to wear evenly. Uh, but a bit more work to be carried out this week, so we've now got the diesel heater up and running, the lights are wired up inside the roof, the fridge is all fitted in, the oven's all fitted in, and we've plumbed it all in as well. The work surfaces have been varnished and they've all been fitted and personalised, and the sink's in, and I've literally just fitted the tap. Um, so pretty much here's some uh, video of the van, and now it's uh, progressed, and we're trying our best to get as much done as we can ready for Camp Quirky. I've only got about four or five weeks left for Camp Quirky and uh, try to get as much done as I possibly can in the short uh, short time I have, only in like a, one day a week at the moment or one afternoon a week to try and get some done and uh, try to look after Riley in between and Cal looking after Riley and we, all the other van projects we've ever had, we've always been me and Cal and then obviously Riley's come back and then we've realised that actually one of us has got to stay with him and uh, one of us has got to go work on the van so Cal's been really busy this week painting the van while I look after Riley. I might come out then and the other bits and pieces and got the uh, heater working. So I've currently got the heater running at the moment just to bed it in and just to test run it, make sure we've got no leaks and make sure that it's going to run all okay. Solar's up and running, so solar, I think I just looked at a minute, I've got 13.6 volts um, and that's where it's charging at the moment. We've got a really nice set of game wheels, which is unusual I know, but it you know, is definitely working. The batteries were something like 12.4 when I put them in because I've used them before and they've charged up really quickly and it's all been working really, uh, really good. Uh, so right, let's get some uh, video footage of the van. So, from the front you might notice the little lump up on the top. We've had a awning fitted to the side of it so that we can pull it out. Uh, here's the off-road tyres. So, nice big chunky off-road tyres. Yeah, for all of you who are interested, um, they're 245 75 16s and they're similar BF Goodrich kind of pattern but a budget version. The, the van's only going to do a couple of thousand miles a year, if that, so it wasn't worth putting much gear on. As you can hear, that's my exhaust underneath, ready for the diesel heater, and it's recovery running. That's the noise you can hear. And there's the awning up on the roof, all fitted and ready. So the big difference is inside. So we now have a ready seat. Kel's painting to excuse all the masking, but we've got. A 12 volt panel we're here to tell us that we've got switches here now for the roof so I'll put them on there's the roof light all working and there's the cab light which will come on as well so currently blowing the hot air out of the front of the seat so there's the fridge the oven and then there's the jam pan with the thing and obviously we've personalized our jam pan so we have wobble box adventures uh, we've personalised our work surface as well with Wobble Box Adventures. So. And a, a yacht varnish finish on the actual work top, but obviously, home is where you park it. So, when I turned the heating on in here earlier on, let's just shut the door. It was 15 degrees, it's been on for about 10 minutes, and already we're up to 19 degrees. So. And that's our buddy box that. Uh, my mum's out, we cover the top of it so that we can have somewhere to sit. Uh, we now have the L-shaped lounge all built up and all done and all ready. Obviously the cushions are going to be recovered. And we've got our double bed at the top where all the junk is at the moment, where all our sleeping bags and stuff is. <laughs> and the roof, I don't know how good you can actually see it, but the roof's all in and carpeted as well. So, idea is next. We want some kind of storage possibly across the top. And we want some kind of storage to go here. Um, but I don't think that's going to be done now before we get to Camp Quirky because we've, uh, we've been flat out trying to finish painting it and get it all done and get it all finished. And everything seems to take double the length of time at the moment. It's, um, I'm running out of time drastically, but I just thought I'd give you a bit of a video of everything we've done. So, Van X curtains, guys, blackout ones, brilliant, absolutely fab. Um, and we've done, I don't know if I've showed you this in another video, but we've got little tartan, blue tartan curtains, I don't know how easy and good that's coming out, but for our little opening windows at the back, and then Kel's sticker bombed all the metal work that you can actually see through the back doors. So, it's 
absolutely boiling in you. So we definitely uh, have a success with the heater at the moment. So that's pretty much it at the moment guys. I'll uh, try and uh, video some other bits and pieces and catch up with you all soon. I think the next video might be me installing the 12 volt telly which we're going to have to go on the wall up by here somewhere. So uh, any ideas, any comments, any feedback guys, we'd love it. If you like our video, like it, tick it, subscribe to us. Um, and hopefully we shall see you all soon at uh, Camp Quirky. Ciao guys.